Welcome back, Matt here, the Lone Wolf. We're gonna go over what sold, like always. So I got 11 orders going out. Not really anything to talk about, so I'm just gonna burn through this real quick, so I gotta get to bed. Mainly bread and butter stuff, so let's just get at it. So first up, Columbia Long Sleeve Shirt. I've had this for a while. They have two tall on the side has a tan color. Nothing special. Uh, I probably paid a dollar fifty or something for it. Uh, so for five ninety nine plus shipping. I was actually surprised that I still had that when I saw the order come through. I thought I had either gotten rid of it or sold it already. So I was kind of slightly worried that I didn't have it in stock. Next, Sorel. So we all know that the, the Sorel, Sorel, Sorel boots. But here's a pair of shorts, a pair of carpenter shorts. They're actually pretty nice. I don't really wear many carpenter shorts, or I probably would have kept them. If they're if they're pants. Oh, okay, I'm actually like, like these. Okay. Attention, pants manufacturers. Nobody actually uses this. Nobody actually puts a hammer in this loop. We know these are carpenter, but we don't, we don't need this. Nobody uses this, okay? But this pocket's pretty cool. It has a nice pencil pocket. Oh, just a, another pocket there. Anyways. So I paid two dollars for those, and they sold for seventeen ninety nine plus shipping, and they'll fit in the flat rate envelope. Kind of squish it down, fit in the flat rate envelope. A pair of REI hiking pants. These are the convertible pants that I can never wear. I can never bring myself to wear these. <laughs> um, paid a uh, dollar for them, and they sold for fifteen dollars and fifty cents plus shipping. Next is a pair of Nike Metcon fours. Uh, they're like. Training shoes, maybe like a CrossFit type shoe. If they're my size, I'll probably keep them. Try them out at least and see. They're these weird, weird laces. They can just slip on, just fit your laces. But I mean, they're a bit beat up. They're not perfect by any means. Uh, so I paid a dollar seventy at the bins, and they sold for twenty dollars plus shipping. So this is a pair of 1990, this is 1989 player of the year, but this card is 1990, Joe Montana. Focus, don't focus on me. And it's the same card essentially, but this one, um, this card has an error on it, or at least one of them does. So, um, makes it a little, I mean, a little bit more desired, or at least people want both of them. Um, and it's just one of the stats on the back. And I forgot which one was which, to be honest. Um, one of the stats, a quarterback, Jim Kelly, one of them says he has 3,521 yards for 25 touchdowns. And the other one says he has 3,130 yards for 25 touchdowns. So it's just one of those is an error. I don't remember what what's what, but I had both, so I put them together. Sold for eight dollars free shipping. Uh, it costs about fifty two cents to ship these. Well, not not a whole lot of money there, but I bought this whole binder of Joe Montana cards for five dollars. So I paid about four cents per card. So that. Uh, I've sold one or two cards out of here already. I don't have them all listed. I only have the first couple pages listed. I don't even remember actually where I ended up at. 
So those would all go together. I gotta figure that out. List some more. Um, but none, none of these are super high dollar. Um, they're they're gonna be dollar dollar cards. You know, you're gonna make make a dollar at a time on them. But I mean, five dollars can turn it into a hundred or so, maybe maybe at least fifty. So especially if you're just getting going and you don't have a lot of inventory. Uh, it's going to be a while before this is listed because I have so much other stuff to list. I do like cards and different smalls and toys and figures and stuff like that. It's something that I can go through and look up and learn more about. It's just it's pretty time consuming. But. Next up is a camera. Is this the right one? Camera. A little digital camera. Uh, paid about 32 cents for it at the bins. Electronics are 69 cents a pound. Uh, it sold for $16.99. Free shipping, but it went overseas, so they did pay shipping. I'm just not getting it. These actually surprised me. Um, grabbed these the other day just because they're Nike, they're like Mary Jane style, different style. Um, Figured maybe eventually they'd sell. I mean, they're orange. Not a lot of people like orange, but these actually sold really quick. I just picked these up a week ago or so. I uh, just listed them five days ago or something like that. Anyways, and they sold for full price, $25 plus shipping, and I paid 80 cents for them. So that's pretty good. That was surprising. This is a hat. Like a wicking material is what it feels like. So it's a hiking hat. It says, I hiked uh, Diamond Head State Monument. This is, is this in Hawaii? Lehigh, Oahu? Yeah, that's a, that's a nice little hat. Uh, I paid 25 cents for it and it sold for $8.50 plus shipping. Adidas. Um, Niza, Niza. Awesome high top. They're kind of cool, you know. They look like Chucks. If they were my size, I probably would have kept them. But they are not. Uh, I paid two dollars and ten cents for them, and they sold for twenty dollars plus shipping. The so one thing I find here in the Northwest a lot is. Um, Hiking, hunting, outdoors gear. So I find a lot of North Face, Columbia, Patagonia, all, the, all those brands. And every once in a while I find like an Arcteryx and the higher up stuff. But here's a pair of North Face boots. It's a nice pair of cold weather hiking boots. I paid $2.66 and they sold for $17 plus shipping. Last not least this little tiny glove um, it's 56 cents for it and it sold for I took an offer of six dollars I think I had it listed for ten I don't, I don't think anybody would really use it it's a Rawlings um, it's a Ken Griffey Jr. so maybe somebody's just gonna put it up for display kind of just have it like that or something that's why I grabbed it because it's Ken Griffey Jr. I know it wasn't worth a whole lot no huge home runs, just some good bread and butter just to keep, keep sales coming in and, and keep my, you know, my few sales, few hundred dollars a week type of profits that I normally do. Now, I am trying to work harder to bump that up, um, but like I said, I've just been going through listing on my death pile, um, and most of it is, is lower end stuff, right? When you get stuff, you usually know what's worth the most. That's what you list first. That's the funnest and most exciting stuff to list. But I'm trying to make myself work through this lower tier stuff. I do want to go thrifting this weekend though, but they don't they don't allow filming at my bins. So I got a little I got a little spy pin thing. I don't know how well the, the image is gonna come out though, but I'm gonna try to film a, a a thrifting video and I gotta like I gotta like uh take my like my hoodie and like Cut a hole in this bottom pocket to put it in right there. That way it's kind of at like belly level. So as I'm looking at stuff, because if I have a shirt, I was watching some videos of guys using it. So if you have a shirt with a pocket, you put it in there. The pin kind of tilts 
up so that it's looking up. That's not really gonna. Even if I'm bending over, looking through a bin, it's gonna be more facing forward than down at what I'm looking at. And then I grab stuff. I can just grab it, kind of hold it out in front of me. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I got plenty of old hoodies that I can cut a hole in and tear up. Other than that, just gotta get my my books in order. Tax season, all that fun stuff. I already did my inventory. I'll go through all my monthly statements and all that fun stuff. That be it. I'm rambling. I gotta go. Peace.